paintings don't move. Nine times out of 10, if you look at a painting and it starts moving, you're probably looking at a TV. But ever since paintings first came to be, stories about them bursting to life have been common. Are these just silly ghost stories or something more? From the lip-syncing Virgin Mary to the falling over anguished man, these are five scary cursed paintings that move mysteriously. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Number 5. Virgin Mary's Lips some parishioners at St. Charbel's Church in Sydney believe they may have just witnessed a miracle when they prayed inside the church. Two young Catholics, who regularly attend Mass at the church in Punch Bowl in Sydney Southwest, filmed a painting of the Virgin Mary carrying Jesus. But the painting does something odd. If their footage can be trusted, it seems like the Virgin Mary's lips may be moving. And again, just to reiterate, paintings aren't supposed to be able to move. It's like not in their skill set. The painting hangs above the church altar, and the recording seems to to show Mary's lips moving in sync with the prayers of the congregation. Young Catholic Kristen Caruse was the first to upload the footage of the painting to her Facebook page on July 5th. Kristen said that she was at church with two of her friends when one of them nudged her and told her to look at the painting. Since Kristen uploaded the footage on her Facebook account on July 5th, more than 41,000 people have viewed it. But the recording has viewers divided. Believers have described the footage as a miracle, while skeptics claim on social media that it's the camera movement and the church lighting which are making Mary's lips appear to move. What do you think? A miracle? A message from God? Camera trickery? Or something else? Time for the star topic. So we don't really have any video footage for this, but we do have some background information on it. Here's a somewhat weird looking painting from France. Guess what though? The image on the left and on the right is the exact same image, but captured in different times of the day. The one on the left was caught at around 10 p.m. and the one on the right was caught at around 9 a.m. Is this real life or what? Did the eyes of the paintings move? How is that even possible? Now I understand that there are some smart people out there who love to use Photoshop, but what do you think? Could this be real and have you ever experienced something similar? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and we will pin the comment with the best answer. Let's keep things moving. Number 4. Ars Moriendi this painting is what is known as a mourning painting, or Ars Moriendi, or Memento Mori. Basically, that's a painting that has been commissioned to commemorate the life of the subject who has since passed away. This particular Ars Moriendi comes from the 18th century and shows a young girl who we can safely assume died shortly before the painting was commissioned. In the clip, the painting was being filmed by a YouTube channel dedicated to exploring supposedly haunted paintings. According to the narration that accompanies the original video, many people have claimed seeing the painting open its mouth, but in the middle of filming, this guy accidentally catches a movement of his own. Take a look. As you can see, the painting's eyes suddenly roll back, prompting the camera operator to yelp in fear. Lots of people in the comments section of the original video are calling this one out as a fake, but I don't even care. Real or fake, it freaks me out. What do you think? Did an attempt to make a documentary about a haunted painting accidentally become footage of an actual haunted painting, or is it a CG-aided hoax? Number 3. The Anguished Man Many of you may already be familiar with the infamous creepy painting, The Anguished Man. And hey, with a name like that, it wasn't exactly going to be a nice, cozy portrait of some daffodils, now was it? But what exactly has the painting done to earn its place on our list? A man by the name of Sean Robinson got in contact with a website that collects creepy stories from the public. I'm going to read to you exactly what he said. I'm also going to do it in my spookiest voice for effect. Let me know how I do. Here we go. This is what Sean said. My grandmother had this painting in her attic for 25 years. She said it was evil. She told us she used to see a dark figure of a man around the house, and at night she heard strange noises and crying. She told me the artist committed suicide shortly after finishing it, and that he used his own blood mixed with the oils. After she died, we got the painting. It is currently in our basement. Shortly after we got the painting, various members of the family started seeing the dark figure of a man. At night, we began hearing noises, and just recently, we have heard crying and moaning. The painting is still in our house, and although I never believed in the supernatural, I am now convinced that there is something evil about this painting. But strange things kept, this is me talking now, by the way, not a Sean quote, just so you know, happening. 
Sean kept sending further updates to the site. In one, he said, The noises have been getting worse. We've heard crying coming from the corner of our bedroom. We started seeing the dark figure standing at the bottom of the bed just staring at us. It seems to be a middle-aged man, but his features are not very clear. As a former skeptic, I'm very curious, so I'm moving the painting into our bedroom. Previously, it's been in a cupboard downstairs. I feel apprehensive and a little scared. Fortunately for us, he soon decided to set up a camera to film the painting when it was left alone to see if he could maybe capture proof that it was no ordinary work of art. He balanced the painting so it was at no risk of falling over and left it alone. He recorded all night for five nights in a row. For the first four nights, all was well, but on the fifth, something peculiar happened. Take a look for yourself. As you can see, it suddenly falls over as if it's been pushed. Some people have even said that shortly after it falls, you can see a faint white light behind the painting. Can you see it? Was that possibly a ghost who pushed the painting over? Sean himself said, There were no drafts in the room and the painting was stood at an angle against the wall, so it should not have been able to tip over by itself. What do you think? Is this painting truly cursed? Did ghostly forces actually push it over? And did the writer of this script only use loads of quotes so he could get away with writing less? Give us your thoughts below. Number 2. Love Letters Love Letters is the name of one of the most notorious haunted paintings of all time. While there's no footage as of yet of the painting behaving peculiarly, stories about it have been kicking around for a long, long time now. And if a haunted painting wasn't already enough to spook you, the painting currently hangs in Driscoll Hotel, which is, if you don't know, considered to be one of the most haunted hotels in the world. A number of notable works of art adorn the wall of the Driscoll. The first painting that a visitor is likely to notice will be the 1890 portrait of Colonel Jesse Driscoll. When you step into the hotel lobby, you'll see it hanging over the mezzanine stairs. Don't be surprised if you get the feeling that the old Colonel's eyes are staring back at you. Some guests find the Colonel's gaze a bit disconcerting, and perhaps that has something to do with the legend of a bullet striking the painting when a pair of Texas lawyers are said to have fought a duel there long ago. The artist behind this compelling portrait was William Henry Huddle, more famous for a painting of Davy Crockett that's housed in the Texas State Capitol. Continuing on through the hotel, guests can enjoy a variety of less unnerving portraits. Many of them showcase Texas cowboys and the hill country's natural beauty. However, up on the fifth floor of the Driscoll, you'll find a painting that has a haunted reputation. The work is a modern replication by Richard King of an older painting by Charles Trevor Garland. The original painting was was titled Love Letters. It shows a little girl holding a bouquet of flowers in one hand and a letter in the other. The folktale surrounding this particular edition of the painting claims that in 1887, the four-year-old daughter of U.S. Senator Temple Lee Houston died in a terrible accident at the hotel. Samantha Houston was running after a ball that had rolled down the Driscoll staircase. The girl tripped and fell to her death. Out of this tragedy, the legend grew that Samantha Houston's ghost haunts the painting of the little girl. It's said that some visitors claim to have stared at the little girl in the painting and seen her expression change. Others report feeling ill when looking at the painting, or a strange sensation of being levitated. With no video evidence, it's hard to settle on an opinion as to whether we think this painting is actually cursed or not. Can it really move? Who's to say? But the fact that so many people have reported the painting changing expression is certainly something to consider. Either way, I am never staying in that hotel. Not until I get an exorcist in to sort the place out anyway. Number 1. Ivan the Terrible Ivan the Terrible, named after your skills in the bedroom, was the crown prince of Vasily III, the wicked ruler of the Grand Duchy of Moscow, and was appointed Grand Prince at three years old after his father's death. Ivan was proclaimed Tsar or Emperor of All Rus in 1547 at the age of 17, establishing the Tsardom of Russia with Moscow as the predominant state. Ivan's reign was characterized by Russia's transformation from a medieval state into an empire under the Tsar, though at immense cost to its people and its broader long-term economy. Historic sources present disparate accounts of Ivan's complex personality. He was described as intelligent and devout, but also prone to paranoia, rages, and episodic outbreaks of mental instability that increased with age. Ivan is popularly believed to have killed his eldest son and heir, Ivan Ivanovich, and the latter's unborn son during his outbursts, which left the politically ineffectual Fyodor Ivanovichko inherit the throne, a man whose rule directly led to the end of the Rurikid dynasty and the beginning of the Time of Troubles. But also, so there's a painting of him that moved or something. I don't know, so let's talk about that. This 1581 painting of Ivan and his son has been causing something of a ruckus since it was very first completed. The picture portrays a grief-stricken Ivan cradling his mortally wounded son and was brought to life by Russian realist artist Ilya Repin. Repin's painting has been called one of Russia's most famous paintings and is also one of the most controversial. But why so? On two separate occasions, men have attacked the painting, slashing it with knives, insisting they could see something moving in the background. 
background. As we have no footage of either incident, we have no way of knowing if either of the men was telling the truth. But if you're willing to pull a knife out and attack a painting, it must have done something seriously spooky. The first incident happened on the 16th of January, 1913. The second took place more recently, on the 25th of May, 2018. Both times, the painting was painstakingly restored, but the question lingers. Were the men telling the truth? Is there something in the background of the painting that can come to life, and if so, is attacking it with a blade the right thing to do? Seeing as there were 105 years between the incidents, we can maybe assume the next time the painting will move will be in 2123. If somebody attacks it with a knife a third time, we'll know this may be a genuine case. So set your clocks for 2123, guys. For now, we play the waiting game. Do you think some paintings can move? Can paintings be cursed, or are there rational explanations? Also, check out our other cool stuff coming up on screen right now. See you next time!